Hello and welcome to Jules19. If this is your first time at the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoy the video and also come and see me over on Twitter at Jules19show. So, uh, Oscar season is upon us and I thought it was an appropriate time to talk about awards. Now, I've won two awards in my entire lifetime. When I was nine years old, I won the school mastermind contest with the specialist subject of dinosaurs. And for that, I won a school bag with the school's logo on it. Now, second place won an infinitely better prize. It got, they got a five pound book token. So I think I lost out there. My other award was for coming second place in our company pool tournament that was held on an office night out sometime in the mid nineties. Me and my friend Simon, each won a, well, pretty cheap wooden trophy. Um, yeah, so those are the only two awards I've ever won in my life, which might explain why I have a little bit of negative bias against the uh, idea of awards. So yeah, as I said, with Oscars approaching, it really got me thinking about the idea of awards. What's the point of award ceremonies? What are they for? And who are they for, really? I'm going to talk predominantly about the Oscars because, well, yeah, it's a movie-based channel and they're coming up soon and they're usually the award ceremony that garners the kind of most media attention and online discussion. So according to IMDb, The Shawshank Redemption is the top film ever made. It's the greatest film ever made. It was nominated for seven Oscars and didn't win a single one. It lost out on Best Movie to Forrest Gump. Morgan Freeman lost out on his Best Actor award to Tom Hanks for Forrest Gump and the award for best adapted screenplay went to yep Forrest Gump so it was pretty clear that we've got an Academy who's very much out of step with public opinion in 2006 the best picture award went to Crash um, it was among nominations for films such as Brokeback Mountain Good Night and Good Luck and um, Munich which in my opinion and many others are far superior films it seen that they perhaps gave the Oscar to Crash because the Academy were uncomfortable with the subject matter of Brokeback Mountain and Crash was seen as a safer bet. So again we're presented with evidence that the Academy is kind of out of touch with the general public. The subjects of equality and diversity have also loomed large over the Academy in recent years. And still we're looking at 87% of the membership of the Academy being made up by white people and 72% of them are male. Since 1929, the Academy have given out 69 Best Director Oscars, and only four of them have gone to women. All of which begs the question, who are these awards for, and do they matter? I mean, I'm sure it's very nice for the person who wins the award, uh, and it's good for their CV, but it's also a very public poke in the eye for the people who don't win the awards. And then there's the question of Oscar bait. Those films that seem to match a particular predetermined formula which almost guarantees them an award and to be fair the idea of Oscar bait does hold some academic weight uh, UCLA did a study of over 3,000 films between the years of 1985 and 2009 and those films that garnered the most awards attention regularly contained themes of war political intrigue disability or show business itself all of which kind of suggests that if there is a predetermined formula and there are themes that you can hit to win an award, what does that say about the value of the award anyway? And if an actress like Sandra Bullock can win both a Razzie and an Oscar in the same year, what does that say about the validity of either ceremony? Now if you want to use TV viewing figures as a yardstick for how much we care about the Oscars, the figures have been in steep decline for a, a number of years now. Now this might have something to do with our different viewing habits and how we consume television, but it really does show a steep drop off in our engagement with the Oscars. If I'm honest, I think people will always read what they want into awards. If your favorite film or actor wins an award, you'll consider that vindication and that your opinion was justified and uh, that the awards were right. If your favourite film or actor is neglected or overlooked for an award, you'll see that the awards people are wrong and they're out of touch or out of step with your opinions. Award ceremonies aren't going away. They're our modern equivalent of a royal parade. And a lot of people enjoy the glitz and glamour of it. I ran a poll on Twitter today with one simple question. Do award ceremonies matter? The response was overwhelming. Most people don't care. 
I'm guessing that, like me, most of your favourite films or favourite performances have never really won awards, but that doesn't stop you watching the film over and over again or recommending it to friends and family. I'm just going to carry on ignoring them. I mean, Back to the Future won one Oscar for sound editing. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Jaws 19. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more of my stuff. Please come over and see me on Twitter at Jaws19Show. And I'll see you on the next one.